savings. You're going to help us here. Oh, yes, we got Josh in the house right now. Your money, and you're probably keeping a lot less of it now in your pocket now that fuel and food prices are going way, way up. So how can you cope? Here with us now to break it all down is savings angel Josh Elledge. Always great to see you, Josh. Thanks yeah, for coming in. Likewise, Amy. Thank you. All right, so uh, our pennies are getting pinched more and more often. It's starting to hurt. What can we do to sort of lessen the blow? Yeah, well, here's the reality. Since December of 2008, as you know, fuel costs have more than doubled right. for us. So that means that if you, as your family, were spending $200 a month for fuel, guess what? You're spending $400 a month. So you just lost $200 a month right there. Now, food costs as well have been escalating over the past year, and they're predicted to escalate even more. Um, just in February alone, 3.9%, there was a 3.9% increase in United States, in the United States, of how much we're spending on wholesale food prices. And globally, since uh, since last year, we've actually seen a 37% increase on wholesale food prices. That's and scary. It really is. It's because of uh, crop failures. It's because of global demand. And uh, it, it, it's because of uh, rising fuel costs. And so how do we cope? All right. Well, the I've got three very important tips. And, uh, you know, I've been there, you know, when, you know, money's tight and there is no money at the end of the month. Um, right. So here are the three things I really highly recommend that you do. Number one is that you get help early and get help often. There are so many people that are willing to help you. A lot of churches and nonprofits offer free financial counseling. And this is the thing that I really want someone to just take their ego and put it on a shelf for right. a moment. It's so and important. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Even if you think, hey, things are going great. We just had a bad month. That's fine. Go and sit down with someone anyway and just evaluate what's going on and where you want to go. Just do some goal setting. And I can't tell you how important that is. Again, even if you think things are going well, but again, if you have a few bad months where you're going behind, let's let's get back on track. And let's talk about sacrifice because we do have to sacrifice and we hate to do it, but there yes. are things, we all have things in our budget that can go, that can be cut out. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And, and that comes from one of the things you're likely going to do with this financial or debt counselor um, is that they're going to have you do an inventory of every dollar that you are spending. And this is such an important exercise. Look, again, I know you probably know where you, th you probably think you know where all your money's going, but right. until you sit down and go through the exercise of writing all of that down, I, I promise you that if you haven't done that in a while, you will probably be shocked. When I sat down with my wife and I, and we did an inventory of where our spending was going, uh, it was quite alarming when I realized that we were actually spending over $700 a month for consumables like groceries. Wow. And that's kind of what began me on my right, quest right. of, gosh, I know there's people who, out there who save a lot more money. How can I get their same results? All right. It's great advice for everybody out there. Josh, always great to see you. Thank, thank you, you so Amy. much. We'll see you again just in a little bit. Our savings angel, Josh Elledge. Mike? All right, Amy. Thank you. In my house, get rid of those allergies. It is Tuesday today and time to save you a little money while you're out and about running your errands. Josh Elledge, the chief executive angel with savingsangel.com is here to make sure that you know about the really big deals in the stores when you head out because sometimes you can miss them if you're not looking. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and this is really nice to have a friend. You just turn, tune into Good Day every Tuesday and you get to know where all these best deals are at. Yes, so let's help people yep. uh, save a little money. TP, we all need it. Admit. Yeah, yep, absolutely. This is part of, you know, what works into that $700 a month mm -hmm. grocery budget and this is a great deal. Normally it's $5 for, it looks like uh, we've got six, 12, 12 rolls of toilet paper. Um, it's on, it's uh, at Walgreens. There's both a store coupon and okay. register reward that you get back at the register and there's also a 50 cent coupon that we've got all linked up at myfoxorlando.com and that means you can get this toilet paper's 12 rolls for $2. That's a 60% savings. That is a good deal. It is really good deal and I would again I would load up the pantry load up all the sinks in the bathrooms and and have this on hand because trust me you're going to use it. You can afford to get toilet paper into that yep. cost. Yeah. Not that I recommend that. Milk though a lot of us go through that like toilet paper. Uh, yeah and uh, again milk is one of those deals that if you just stroll into a Walmart yep. thinking well we need some milk so you go pick it up you're going to be you're going to get the sticker shock. It's expensive. They sell it for it's it's like nearly five dollars for a gallon of milk at Walmart. Now Walmart will price match and that's helpful okay. but if you're not doing that you're spending a lot more. Now the best price on milk this week is going to a CVS. A CVS knew, right? yep exactly it's normally over four dollars actually on sale for three dollars uh, and some change and you can actually get it as low as about two nineteen dollar ninety nine depending on the store. Significantly better and if you need a little go-go juice in the morning. Uh -huh, yep you can get eight o'clock coffee look this is normally 7.79 okay. at Publix it's buy one get one and there are 
or is it there's a two dollar on two coupon again myfoxorlando.com you just click we've got those coupons all linked up so you can get these same deals that means you're going to get an additional one dollar off it's going to make the final price on this two dollars 95 cents okay. you know what you get a bag of coffee the price you'd pay for one cup at starbucks i know seriously brew it at home you've got an extra few minutes yep, sure little treats we all need them every once in a while this right? is yeah this is such this is so incredible how cheap this is uh, how inexpensive this is we'll say these are normally two ninety five. It's got two slices of pie in here. Edward Singles. They have lots of different varieties. I'm going to leave these here. Well, look at the engineers. I'm going to leave these here <laughs> with the production crew, uh, and you get to enjoy this. These are buy one get one. Two ninety five. Dollar forty eight. One dollar coupons. It just came out. That means you're going to get two slices of pie for forty eight cents. That is a bargain. It is. It you is. You had me at Edwards. Every time yeah. I hear Edward, I think of vampires. You Twilight fans, you'll know what I'm talking about. Those for kitty cats can save. Yep. Finally, if you got a kitty cat at home, um, you can get a bag of kitty litter this week for 10 cents. 10 cents. Normal, I'll buy a cat for that. Yeah, exactly. Might as well just buy the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Normally $2.39. Buy one, get one. $1.10 coupons. Uh, all linked up. My Fox Orlando. We got coupons. We got money saving. All right. If you want to save just like Josh, you could do it. MyFoxOrlando.com. Again, go to the Good Day tab. Look for Deal of the Day. Scroll down. We've got all the information. It is all free. You can use it as you head off to the grocery store. All right.